hello, 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 everybody. It's Elena Donna, and if you're new to my channel, it's Elena Donna. Welcome. Today it's time for my May TBR. I know May already started, but there are some books that I still want to read this month, so I'm gonna show you. <laughs> new to my channel then please subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you like it make sure you click on the notification bell so you will know when I upload a video I upload two times a week and if you're into movies and TV shows and k-dramas then don't forget to subscribe to my movie channel I made a separate one in October and I'm gonna do it because I don't want to put it on this channel because it's gonna be too much for me and it's you don't want to interact with everybody so I'm gonna upload here lifestyle and books and movie reviews and TV shows and game drama and all my other channels so don't forget to check it out and without further ado let's go I'm currently listening to Daisy Jones and the Six of course by Taylor Jenkins Reid yeah I said that right everybody is fussing about it everybody is talking about it uh, most of the people that I've seen on bookstagram and booktube love there's a book so I need to know what the fuss is about and I already saw it in our English bookstore and I was like why don't we have this behind custom and my boss was like I don't know you can order it but till this day I still don't have the book but I got it on script so I'm listening to it right now I do have to say that the narrators point on point and that it sounds really good it sounds so real even though it's fiction I'm currently a few chapters in so I have no idea if I like it or not except for the voices so we will find out in my wrap up the second book that I'm reading right now is the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets the second book in the series this is the first and I think Besides, The Infernal Device is the only series that I would ever reread. I haven't started, but I will soon, I think, tomorrow, since I'm gonna travel tomorrow, so I'm gonna pick this up. Since The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter was so well done, and I really, really loved it, I'm gonna pick up Fractured by Karen Slaughter. Let's find out what the summary says. This story takes us on a journey with Abigail. She's being molested and beaten on by her husband and she is used to it. But one day, an intruder is standing over her daughter and something snaps inside of her. This is a part of a series. It follows Will Trent. I think he is like a detective or something because this is a series about him. I haven't studied any of these books so I have no idea what his role is but I know that it is in that department. Well, I love my trailers, so I am so ready. I DNF'd a book that I got for free, even though we have it in the store right now. And I'm like, there were two or many plots trying to be relevant, but it was, no, not for me. But anyways, I can't wait to read this one. And the next one that I want to read this month is A Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. I saw another article in our store and I was like, <gasps> I got a book by that man, I need to read it. So I'm gonna pick it up this month and this is going to be the non-fiction book that I'm gonna read this month. And I wanna know why we sleep, why? Cause if you are as ambitious as I am, you're like, I don't have enough time in the day to do all the things that I want. Like no, not at all. But our body and our brain need to rest clearly. So I really wanna pick it up. Then for the last book, it's going to be a surprise because I wrapped some books up. As you can see, I have no idea what books I wrapped up because these books been standing on my shelf for <laughs> quite some time now. And it would be nice if I would read any of those books because I turned around all my books that I haven't read. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I would love to see these books turned around. And I also do have to say that if I don't like a book, it is done i just give it like 60 to 100 pages like a go like try to convince me that i love you or that i will like you but if i'm not into it i'm dnfing it because in the past i've been reading books that i didn't like but i had to finish them in my mind and then i ended up getting in a slump and i didn't want to read or i started too many books at the same time and that didn't want to make me read so that's not what i'm gonna do anymore the books that i don't like i'm gonna donate so i don't know how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna try to do it with my eyes closed i'm just gonna mix them up i have no idea and Ooh. okay one fell but i got it i got it i saved it okay please be okay 
I'm gonna pick one now. This one. Let's see what it is. This is so weird, but I highly suggest to do this to some of your books that are on your TBR for quite some time now. Because I kid you not, this feels like a gift right now. It feels like someone gave this to me and I'm like, okay, cool, I can unwrap it. What is it? Around Christmas, I wrap my books up and let's see. Oh, okay. Oh my god, why do I still have this? <laughs> it is The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz. I had to buy this book for when I was studying at the university, like back in the day, like way back. I'm very, very old, just so you know. Oh, and it's also almost my birthday, like in two weeks. It's my birthday, so... <laughs> Anyways, we had to pick this book up and... I can still remember that I thought, whoa, this is like the first like non-white person that we have to read a book by and I've never picked it up because I quit it, the education before I could read this one. So I think that's why I kept it because it sounded interesting. Let me see what it is about. Oscar is a sweet but distorted, that's a word I can't pronounce, this thought that uh, I can say it in my head but I can't say it out loud. But disastrously, you know what I, what I mean, I was a, yeah. Overweight ghetto nerd, a New Jersey romantic who dreams of becoming the Dominican J.R.R. Tolkien and most of all, of finding love. But Oscar may never get what he wants, blame the fuku, a curse that has haunted Oscar's family from generations, following them on their epic journey from the Dominican Republic to the United States and back again. So, he basically is trying to find love, but there's a family curse. Sounds really good to me. And this book is the winner of the Pulitzer Prize, but yeah, winning prize doesn't mean that everybody's going to love it, but I am excited to read this. this whoa, this is something that I would never picked up by myself, even though it was on my shelf. So that's why I also suggest to wrap up some of your books on your TBR. It is going to be amazing. And who knows, one of your books that you bought back in the day will maybe surprise you so i hope this one will so that was the books that i'm gonna read in may even though it's already may hey hey i'm just really really excited i can't wait to start even though i still have a lot of things to do but i'm gonna start tonight let me know in the comment box down below what book are you are reading i am super curious what everybody else is reading are you also reading like daisy jones and the six or are you diving into this amazing fantasy? Let me know because I want to know and since it's almost my birthday, I want to know what everybody's reading. So if it's something that you like and it's my cup of tea, I can add it to the wish list. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!